Welcome to Prebath. In this video, we have got these uh, two identical uh, circles fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, uh, these uh, circles are tangent to each other, along with the D and E are the points of tangency. P and F uh, are their centers. And furthermore, uh, this uh, segment uh, AE is uh, four uh, units whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, EB is uh, 4 units as well and this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, 6 units and now our task is to calculate the radius uh, of uh, these uh, yellow circles please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step I have connected uh, these uh, centers uh, Pf with this uh, point of tangency E and here's the crucial fact please keep in mind that centers and the point of tangency are uh, collinear in other words all uh, these uh, points uh, lie on the very same uh, line and in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this uh, center P with this uh, point of tangency D as well and now let's recall the circle theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius and the tangent will always be 90 degrees and no wonder these angles are 90 degrees so these are our tangent lines and these are our radii and now let's label these radii let's suppose that this radius for this yellow circle is lowercase r and this is going to be lowercase r radius and since these uh, two circles are uh, identical so this uh, is going to be our radius uh, lowercase r and this is going to be radius r as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, abc whose uh, this uh, side length uh, ab is 4 plus 4 is going to give us uh, 8 units and this uh, side length is uh, 6 units and now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets 3, 4, 5. If I multiply these uh, triplets uh, by 2, then our new triplets are going to become uh, 6, uh, 8 and uh, 10. And now we know that uh, this is 8, this is 6. So therefore this longest leg AC is going to be 10 uh, units. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center P with these uh, vertices A and uh, C. And as a result, we got uh, this uh, triangle uh, APC. And likewise, I have connected uh, this uh, center F uh, with these vertices A and uh, B as well. And as a result, we got this uh, triangle uh, AFB. And moreover, we got another additional uh, triangle uh, AFP. And furthermore, we got uh, this uh, trapezoid uh, FBCP. And here's the definition of a trapezoid. Sometimes we call it uh, trapezium. A quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. And in this uh, trapezoid, uh, this uh, side uh, FP is uh, parallel to this uh, side uh, BC. And here's our uh, action plan. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, big right triangle ABC is going to be equal to the sum of uh, area of uh, all these uh, triangles, area of this uh, triangle uh, AFB, area of this triangle uh, APC, area of this uh, triangle uh, AFP, and finally the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, FBCP as you can see this uh, equation and now our task is to calculate the area of this big triangle uh, ABC area of this uh, triangle uh, AFB area of triangle uh, APC area of triangle uh, AFP and finally the area of this uh, trapezoid and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, bigger right triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case our base is uh, 8 and our height is uh, 6 so therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times uh, 8 uh, times uh, 6 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 
24. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, another triangle uh, AFB. And we are going to use the very same uh, formula, a half times uh, base times height. In our case, our base is 8 and our height is this uh, radius R. So therefore, the area of this triangle AFB is going to be a half times 8 times lowercase r. And if we simplify everything, that is going to give us 4 times r. And now let's calculate the area of this uh, another triangle uh, APC, whose uh, base is uh, 10 and whose uh, height is uh, lowercase uh, r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this triangle APC is going to be a half times uh, 10 times uh, lowercase uh, r. And that is going to be equal to 5 times uh, r. And in this uh, next step, we are going to calculate the area of in this uh, triangle uh, AFP, whose uh, height uh, is uh, 4 uh, units and whose uh, base is uh, R plus R is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, lowercase r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. We are going to have a half times uh, our uh, base is uh, 2 times r and our height is uh, for units. So let's go ahead and simplify the right hand uh, side. We can see this 2 and 2 is gone. So we simply ended up with the 4 times uh, r. And finally let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, FBCP. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to height uh, h uh, times uh, the basis a, b all over 2. And in our case, uh, this uh, base is going to be r plus r is going to give us uh, 2 times r. And this uh, base is uh, 6 and the height uh, of this uh, trapezoid is uh, 4 uh, units. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. A half uh, times uh, our height uh, is uh, 4 and then the sum of the base is uh, 6 uh, plus uh, 2 times uh, r. And now 1 divided by 2 times 4 is going to give us uh, 2. So therefore, this is going to be equal to 2 times uh, 6 uh, plus uh, 2 r. Let's go ahead and distribute. So that is going to give us uh, 12 uh, plus uh, 4 r. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. We figured out all uh, these uh, individual uh, areas as you can see over here. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So the area of this triangle ABC is uh, 24 equal to the area of these individual triangles is uh, 4R plus uh, 5R plus uh, 4R and plus finally the area of this trapezoid uh, 12 plus uh, 4R as well. And now let's go ahead and combine uh, these uh, like terms. So therefore we got uh, 24 equal to 17R plus uh, 12. Now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 12 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our 17R is going to be equal to 12. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 17. This is uh, gone. So therefore uh, our radius lowercase r uh, turns out to be 12 uh, divided by 17 uh, units. So thus the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be 12 uh, divided by 17 uh, units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.